As the COVID-19 restrictions are starting to ease, I decided to start turning my attention to chasing squid in wintertime land-based. So I headed out to Tung Curry and seen my good mate Luke Austin from Great Lakes Tackle for some advice and to grab myself a new rod just for that purpose. I just want you to talk me through what I need for um, squid here. Show me the rod. Brim rod? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we use brim rods in the squid as well. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah, so, okay. Um, rod, reel. So, reel wise, two and a half thousand, three thousand size reel. Yeah. Um, will depend a little bit on your rod. Have a bit of that. Isn't that nice? <laughs> New pen clash. Wow. So that would be perfect. How good is that? The 2000 Akuma. What are these clashes retail at? Um, retail at 330. Yeah, right. So pretty, pretty good bang for your buck. Um, so squid don't need big reels, they don't pull drag really. Um, oh, the squid I catch do. Well, they don't. They don't have for structure. Put it that <laughs> yeah. way. Um, wow, so you don't nice. need anything heavy. Yep. There's something like that. Um, about ten pound braid's good. Um, depends who you ask, really, as far as the line class goes. But I like to be able to fish heavy enough to be able to bend the, the spikes on the squid jigs to pull them out of the kelp. Oh, okay. So yep. with squidding, if you're not sort of skimming the kelp, you often won't really get. Yes. So you, you're going to get snagged. Yep. Um, yep. When I started squidding, I was down to like four pounds, thinking that I had the fish light to get the, the squid. Yep. But you just go through that many jigs, it's not funny. Yeah, right, um, yeah, okay. So I tend to fish 15, even 20 pound litre, yep. let's say 10 pound braid. Yeah, right, yeah. And then you can you can bend those jigs out yeah, and get sure. them out of the kelp. So. Fair enough. So that's your, your reels. Yep. Uh, rod wise. Go and have a look at the rods. So a bit of, bit of length is good in your rods. Uh, the further you can cast, the more squid you catch. Um, so for what you were thinking of doing, land-based, something like that would be perfect. Yeah, right, rod, yeah. It's the, the heavier of the new Atomic Arrows squid range. Yeah. Uh, so that'll throw up to a, a size four squid jig, which is a, a really big sort of thing. Okay. Most people around here throw threes or two and a halves. Yep, yep. Um, there, eight yeah. three. Plenty of length for good casts. Excellent. $149. Yep. Pretty sweet for, for price. Um, here to do one as well. Uh, that's your Akuma equivalent. Same again, up to size fours. Yeah, okay. A little bit shorter in length. Yep. So maybe better for the boat than land base. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so the, you, you were saying these got a medium taper, do they? Yeah, so you've got... Kuma only have the one, but you've got two different versions in the arrows. Okay. Pretty much comes down to the size jig you want to use. Yep. Um, so the lighter one is what they call a multi-taper. Okay. Uh, and it'll throw through to a size three. Yeah, okay. Right, so yeah. you can just see it's a bit softer. Yep. Yep. Um, whereas the medium taper, a bit stiffer. Ah, uh, okay. And that's uh, that's the one you're saying. It's easier yeah. to rip your yeah. um, jig off power, the kelp. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, but either do the job. Yeah. No well, I'm definitely going to go the medium. I think you need medium. Yeah. Heavy-handed. Yeah, that's right. Especially the size of the squid I catch. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yeah. No worries. Squid jig wise, um, pinks, oranges, and whites are okay. my go-to. Yeah, Mishita is tough to get at the moment. Okay. Things are slow stock-wise with, with Corona. So yeah, right, yeah. It's been a bit difficult. Uh, some of our more favourite colours aren't in, but things are That style of jig and colour range is a good way to go. Uh, maybe with a white thrown in as well. 
but in saying that, squid will eat any colour yeah. on certain days. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, so squid fishing, take as many different jigs as you can, throw one five, ten times, swap it. Throw another one five, ten times, swap it. Yeah, I've heard the people have gone out, caught one on one, one colour, changed, caught another one on another colour, yep. and it's just, yeah. Yeah, they're a weird, weird thing. Yeah, right, yeah. And that's half the fun of chasing them. Okay, no worries. Um, generally high tide, so top of the tide, clear of water, they like that clear water. Okay. But then you can have some really red hot sessions um, at the bottom of the tide as well. So. Yep. No worries. Awesome mate, thank you. No worries.